How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to create this video because I do often get asked in my comments how I am transferring my footage from my Osmo Pocket 3 to a device in order to edit it. And I thought this was a great video to make for the beginner who is maybe just picking up the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. First off, great choice. This is a phenomenal camera. I use it all the time. I love how compact it is. The footage I get looks incredible and I couldn't be happier with this little Osmo. First, I'm going to show you how to take your footage off your Osmo Pocket 3 and transfer it onto your computer. You are going to need a couple different accessories to do this. If you are using a Mac, you will need a dongle. So this is a dongle where I can plug my SD card into and read the footage off on the Mac. Or you could simply plug your Osmo Pocket 3 in by using a USB-C cable. So let's go ahead and start doing that first. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your USB-C cable and you're gonna plug this into the back side of your Osmo Pocket 3. And then you're gonna take this other end and you're gonna plug it into your computer. Now when I turn on my Osmo Pocket 3, it is gonna tell me I could either choose a webcam or I could choose file transfer. In this case, I am gonna choose file transfer. And then as you can see, my Osmo Pocket 3 has shown up live onto my computer. So it is reading the SD card within the Osmo Pocket 3. And as you can see, all my footage on my Osmo Pocket is here. So I can just pull one up and I can copy over the footage that way. There is a couple other ways to do this on a PC or on a Mac. So I'm gonna show you the next way. Let me eject the Osmo Pocket 3 on my desktop right now. Hey, okay. And now I am going to unplug it from the computer. And you can see on the side where the SD card slot is, I'm going to just simply pop out the SD card. It is a little difficult to pop out, but that is okay because I know it is safely in there while using. And now I'm going to take my dongle and I'm going to plug it into the dongle. And now I'm going to take my dongle and plug this into the computer. As you can see, it shows up as the SD card and same thing, I can click here and go through my folders and I could read all the files that are on my Osmo Pocket 3's SD card. I find transferring the files to the computer is the easiest and best way to transfer files off the Osmo Pocket 3. In my opinion, it is the fastest and also I can copy it to an external hard drive. This is a SanDisk SSD. I recommend you getting an SSD external hard drive as it is a very fast hard drive and it will be easy to edit off of. I professionally use these SanDisk SSD drives all the time and they're great. I edit 6K log raw files on them and I've never had an issue inside Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, so I cannot recommend one of these enough. Now I do have this nice little slip drive on the back of my Mac in order to hold my external hard drives. This is great because I don't have to put my hard drives on any surfaces. Also, if I wanna bring my laptop around with me, I can just lift it up and take it to wherever I need to go next. Okay, so that is how I recommend transferring your files from your Osmo Pocket 3 back onto your computer, onto your PC or your Mac. Now I'm going to switch over to my iPad where I'll show you how to transfer your files using the DJI Mimo app. The DJI Mimo app has been great, especially if you're out on the go and you don't have your laptop with you. I've used it on my cell phone and I've used it on my iPad. It is quick to be able to just send a shot from my Osmo Pocket 3 to my phone in case I want to quickly upload that shot to Instagram or TikTok. Okay, so let me find the DJI Mimo app. The Mimo app works great, and as you can see, it has already connected my Osmo Pocket 3 to the Mimo app. I'm going to just click on Devices, and now you can see it is connected to my Osmo Pocket 3. So now if we click on this little play button down here, you can see all my files on my Osmo Pocket 3 have loaded onto my Mimo app. And now if I scrub through, I can find one of the clips I recently shot in New York. Let's choose this one. I can play it back. And I'm like, okay, I want to use that clip. Now I can download it because I want to easily upload it to Instagram. So I'm going to click the download button here. And I'm going to click on full download. As you can see, it is showing me it is downloading in the bottom right corner. And now I can close the DJI Mimo app. 
And if I open up my photos here, you can see the footage is on my iPad and I can use it however I see fit. I can upload it to Instagram, TikTok, or I can even begin editing it on CapCut using my iPad. I will link the video where I do show you how to edit your Osmo Pocket 3 footage on your iPad using CapCut, so click up here to see that. Awesome, well thank you so much for joining me in this episode. I hope you learned something. Again, there are multiple ways to transfer your footage from your Osmo Pocket 3 to your devices. It's really just working it into your workflow and seeing what works best for you. Please like and subscribe to my channel as it helps my channel grow. Until next time, peace.